everybody. What's up today? This is a beautiful Sunday morning. My wonderful fanatics, followers, extremists. Today I have the GP37. The GP37 is a Russian muzzle-loading GP25, GP30 inspired 37mm launcher. The GP37 uses a proprietary cartridge designed after the VOG 25P grenade series. The projectile in this case is an Estes rocket motor. The tabs for the Estes rocket motor are set across the back. The front is filled with a powder mixture with a payload, and the launcher itself has two electrical contacts inside of the barrel, one radial and one centered, so that no matter where this falls, it will end up on that contact pad. It's powered by one standard battery in the grip assembly. The trigger is merely a button that contacts these together. There's a functioning safety selector on the left side above the ejector, which does not always seem to function. More cosmetic, maybe not long enough. It does aid in the extraction, although it still may require tools depending on how tight your cartridge is. On mine, I've used electrical tape to snug it up. I will experiment with rifled projectiles in the future. And then on the opposite side, I have this sight for an M1 rifle. This is the M15 sight with a little bubble level in here for clarity. This sight was designed to go on to the M1 Garand for rifle grenade use. It just so happens to look close enough to the proper Russian site while also being under $20 and available pretty much everywhere. Across the top of the launcher is a Picatinny rail. I'm not an AK person. I don't have AKs. I don't know what the mount looks like. I'm going to release this as a step file. You guys can modify it to fit your AKs. I'm an AR-15 person. I have dozens of AR-15s. All right, so I've worked my magic, and now we have an SDS Imports Lynx 12. Otherwise, a perfect Saiga clone. This particular model is equipped with a side folding stock that does not fold with the drum magazine in place, and some wonderful green at co anodized green Zenit co parts, as well as a $70 SIG optic. All wonderful, cheap, and fun items. The launcher is mounted as far back as I can get it, but it does interfere slightly with the release of the drum magazine. I've had to use one Picatinny rail slot on the very short rail available. This doesn't particularly resemble any model of the GP series. It's kind of a blend of features between both. I'm also working on the standalone Castet launcher, which means brass knuckles in Russian, of course. The Castet is not a mountable 37 or a GP 25 or 30 on a standalone chassis. It is actually a proprietary built launcher with an AK grip that does not come off, but I'm going to deviate from that a little bit to make this into a standalone system with a Picatinny mountable stock. <laughs> 